Recently, it came to my attention that there are gods living among humans. Their intellectual thinking is beyond this world. Some people just have a grasp on things that most people just cannot understand. Hello, internet. Today, I wanted to make a video on a certain person I've been seeing around the internet. I don't know how more people don't know this person, but uh, it's quite incredible how smart this person is. And of course, the person I am talking about today is Lovely Peaches. All right, Lovely Peaches has an Instagram page. She's most known for her Instagram lives, and these things are phenomenal. All right, here we have her Instagram page, Lovely Peaches Music 100. So what I just found out is she also wants to be a musician. I did not realize that until right now. However, what I want to focus on today is her Instagram lives. Thankfully, her lives were recorded and put on YouTube because these things are the greatest things I've ever seen. It's like somebody's trying to be sarcastic and they're making a joke. However, in her case, I really think she actually means it. Peaches has an absolutely brilliant mind. Just think about this. She's at the presidential debate and this question comes up, Democratic or Republican? How would you answer? I don't know, but listen and watch how Peaches answers this question. I'm sorry, I have no idea what that even says. Um, I try to answer all you guys' questions that I click on, but I honestly have no idea what that says or what that means. Boom! Just like that, completely avoided the question. Now, she has Republicans and Democrats on her side voting for her. That's just the beginning. Another topic that has been a problem affecting America, especially in the past hundreds of years, is race. No one seems to have a perfect solution to this but Peaches. Your opinion on starting a race war? Um, I don't know much about race cars. <laughs> race car. But, um, I used to watch those little race car movies that used to be on the Disney Channel. Um, I'm not really into stuff like that, but if they want to race, then that's on them. Let them race. It's, um, it looks fun. Oh my gosh, she is absolutely so, so smart. She's basically saying like, you only got one life, so you might as well enjoy it. Let people enjoy what they like doing. I don't think any human has thought of that. How often do you pee? Um, I try to pee as little as I can because that shit burns. This is what I meant. She is a god among us mere feeble humans but once again you see peaches just absolutely understanding how the world works and understanding the concepts of life i understand you may not agree with me and i mean that's okay i know it's tough being stupid but you just some people have to deal with it she is also pursuing a music career how she hasn't blown up and why we don't hear on the radio i don't know but her music intelligence is very high as well. Listen to her thoughts on the classic Beatles. Your opinion on the Beatles. Um, I don't like Beatles because like if they like if they like crawl into my room or something like that, um, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Do you see what I'm talking about? Everyone's a follower and they love the Beatles, but she ain't no follower. She doesn't like the Beatles. But you see, she understands what music should sound like. You know, she's not a follower. She didn't just follow trends. I mean, listen to her thoughts on showering. Why don't you take showers? Not once have I ever heard an actual, good, reasonable reason for people to shower. Showering, people, people shower because it's a trend. It's not something that needs to be done. It's not something that we can, it's not like drinking food or water. It's not something that we actually need. It's just something that people do. It's a trend. People do it because other people do it. A lot of things people do is because other people do it. To be honest, people like to follow the trend. Someone else doing it and everybody else doing it. I want to do it. I want to fit in. I want to do it. It's a trend, guys. Just like the Beatles, the music was a trend. Showering, showering's the exact same thing. Showering's a trend. Why? You probably shower. I... I used to shower. You know what? Peaches made me stop showering. I haven't showered in a couple hours. And we're all just following a trend. The only one that could possibly understand this is Peaches. So from here on out, I've taken the initiative to stop showering and following trends. But I'm taking this one step further. I'm not just stopping showering. I'm stopping all the trends I do in my life. Showering gone. 
I don't need to do it, it's not like eating food or drinking water. Gone. Wiping my ass after I take a shit. Gone. I don't need to do it. I'm gonna shit again anyways. Brushing my teeth. Screw it. Don't need to do it. Such a trend. Dentists, are they even a thing? Are they real? I don't even think dentists are real anymore. Are they just a trend? Are dentists a trend? And of course, the last one, sleep. I can't believe people actually fell for that. Sleeping? God, that is the biggest trend. Literally, I'll have so much more time to do nothing if I just don't sleep. People are actually idiots, I think. And Peaches brings this out. And this is why she is just so, so smart. In addition to avoiding the question on whether she's Democratic or Republican, when people rephrase it to try and get her to give in and lose some followers, maybe by hitting her with the, are you right wing or left wing question? Look at how she avoids this one. Are you right wing or left wing? Um, my fair wings are, honestly, I really like buffalo wings. Who the fuck doesn't like buffalo wings? You see what I'm saying though? Like, she just would gain so much attention because who wouldn't want her as a president? She's not Republican or Democrat. She's not left wing or right wing, but she likes buffalo wings. Like, is that not a more perfect human being? In addition, she's not only just charismatic, she doesn't know how to just avoid questions, sort of, make people happy but she also really understands her history and knowledge. How did you feel when Obama got assassinated? I think they were a little confused in this question because it was our first president, George Washington, who got assassinated, not Obama. You see, I totally forgot I got it mixed up. I really did think Obama got assassinated, but she reminded us that it was really just our first president of the United States that got assassinated. Not Obama. I feel like that's something that just everyone seems to get mixed up, but you know, Peach is one of those people that can actually understand the difference between Obama and George Washington and keep it like clear which one actually got shot and which one didn't. This one confuses me a lot too because I swear Obama was our president. And now all of a sudden it's some other white guy and I don't know what happened to Obama. So I thought he got assassinated. Where did he go? What would you do if when you okay so he said yes would go? Um. Wow. About. Osama. I feel like Obama was better. Um. I feel like Obama was better. And I feel like life was way better when he was in office. I remember when Osama bin Laden was our president. It was way better, wasn't it, Peaches? Wasn't it? Another superstar musician that people seem to love was Bob Marley. Check out Peaches' reaction to Bob Marley. What's your opinions on Bob Marley? Who? I don't know who that is. Who even is Bob Marley? Peaches understands like, yo, if you ain't listening to Peaches, you ain't listening to anyone good. Do you like Hitler? I actually looked up some of his music and nothing came up. So I don't know if he go by a different name or what, but none of his music came up. All I saw were videos that were coming up and basically black and white. One of my favorite things about Peaches is she doesn't judge people. I don't know, just watch this. What does your poop taste like? It actually tastes pretty good. And I feel like people, they judge other people off of what they eat. But y'all see all these people eating an octopus, but yet y'all judge me for eating poop. Like, like guys, I was so scared to admit that my poop tastes super good. And she's right, you guys out there eating nasty stuff like octopus gross but yet you can't even try your own poop obviously poop tastes way better than octopus lastly peaches has a very big reputation of being a giving person just look at what she gives away have you given aids to um unfortunately i've given a lot of stds out but i haven't given actual aids out because i want aids like so bad and i try my best to catch them but Every time I think I have it, you know, I never get any symptoms, I haven't lost any weight or whatever, and I haven't been blessed with it yet. Alright, that one is a little too messed up to make a joke about. 
<laughs> in all honesty, I cannot tell if this lady is joking or if she actually has some mental issues. She is collecting STDs as if they are Pokemon and she's trying to catch them all. All right, this is actually really messed up though. Somebody really does need to get this girl off Instagram, but it is very funny to look at what she says as a joke. So that is what we did today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you drop a like, uh, subscribe for more guys. You know, this channel is not really going to be meant for commentary stuff like this, but I haven't seen any big YouTubers do this yet. So I thought I'd take the honors and do it myself first. Anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next one and peace out.